Oh, timing is everything. They are making the announcement here for the final day of Cisco Live 2024 in Amsterdam. Welcome back to the live stream, everyone. I'm so glad to have you back here with us today. My name is Steve Moulter, and I have my dear friend Nish Parker on set with Hi, me. Hi, Steve. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. You look spectacular. You look <laughs> uh, fresh and vibrant and ready for a final day of incredible content and great talks and great executive interviews and uh, I, I party. Everything else that's on offer, right? There's so much to You're do. already set for the party tonight is what's going on. Yes. I, I, I just put two and two <laughs> together. I forgot, we've got so much good content coming at you over the next, what is it, seven hours uh, or so here. And then tonight is the customer appreciation event taking place over in the keynote space that I know everybody is so excited about. Last year, uh, for the party following this event, it was so loud I, I genuinely could not hear myself think. <laughs> you were having a fabulous time. Yes, it was amazing last year. And I'm sure it's going to be great this year as well. Every time we do this, Steve, the time goes so quickly. We start out on day one and then we're already out closing the day, like the last day of the show, it happens super fast, but that's because we're so busy, there's so much to do. The amount of guests that we get to meet here in the studio and then take through to our viewers, um, I'm so glad that we can play a role in that and help people understand how exciting it is to be here in Amsterdam at Cisco Live. If you haven't been to a Cisco Live before, or if you have and you're missing it this year, be sure to get back here next time. It really is so true. Another thing that I think is a great indicator of how much we've accomplished in the past few days and as quickly as it's gone by, I look into the schedule and I see how many things that we've already recorded. So we've got a whole bunch of great interviews coming up today. We want to make sure that you hear in on every single one of them. If you missed any content, by the way, from the past few days, don't worry, it is all waiting for you at CiscoLive.com. So much more coming up, but I look at what we've already captured. I look at the amount of videos that have already been posted, and I think that is a massive quantity of value that we've already created for everybody who is actually here at the show with us at the Rye in Amsterdam, and for all of you who are tuning in on the broadcast as well. I, I think it's just a, it's a great service, but it's also a great joy to be a part of, Nish, as you said. Absolutely, I mean, Steve, I'm curious, has, has there been a highlight for you so far? I know we're going into day three. <clears throat> I'm going to sound like a broken record here because I've already <laughs> thrown so many accolades his way. I really did love talking with Gene Hall. Right. Gene is just one of those great visionaries because he talks about where we are right now in very practical and concrete terms. He knows the portfolio incredibly well. He knows where the value lies for our customers. He's very people focused, which you know is my yes. thing, but he's also a really good future visionary and he's a great corporate storyteller for Cisco. And because corporate storytelling is kind of my thing, I just find a lot of value in him, and I just frankly like having him around. I know, cool he's awesome. Dude, right, how about for you? Oh, that's a tricky one. I mean, yesterday I spent a lot, a lot of time on our other set, seated with guests. I think it's my favorite place to be in Cisco <laughs> Live. Not only because we get to sit down, we're on our feet so much, and you know, um, but I love having the opportunity to sit down for a slightly longer period of time and really deep dive into what those guests are working on. So I sat down with Emma Carpenter yesterday, who's our Chief Revenue Officer for our Amazing. security business. Really great to hear the announcements and really kind of dig into what was mentioned in the keynote around the identity announcements. So great to hear from her. Um, and of course, I, you know, right where you're standing, I was there yesterday and I, um, Oliver was over here, Oliver Tusik, our EMEA president. I got to sit down with, well, stand up with him yesterday. Stand up with him. <laughs> His energy is always great, right? Whether it's, you know, on the keynotes or here in the studio, got my selfie with Oliver. You have to get your selfies at Cisco Live. It's a, a great way to show everybody else, you know, how much fun you're having and make it, them a little bit jealous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, um, I, I, I forgot, I got the chance to talk with Javed Khan and it's very yes. hard to actually get Javed because he's in constant demand. And the other thing is I had a short segment with Snora Kesbu. And Snora is another one of those people who just is a very enriching person personality, he's charming and he's and he's very well spoken and he's energized about everything that we're doing and whenever I hear our executives speaking from a point of passion, that's what always gets me excited. We can talk product, technology, solutions, services, capabilities all day long. Cisco's a, re a remarkably powerful company. It's when you get to be up close and personal with the passion behind the people leading the charge, yes. that's what gets me excited and that's what we get really excited about bringing to all of you as well. Should we introduce our other two hosts here we on the broadcast? To, Steve, can we not just keep chatting? But they're so, <laughs> they're so lovely. They're they wonderful are. human beings. They and Let's it looks like, oh them. good, I'm looking in the monitor. <laughs> There's my friend, Cedric Devalder. Hello, Cedric. Hey, Steve and Nish, thanks for coming to is actually then I still have a job, to be honest, on this last day here <laughs> at Cisco Live. Uh, but no, it's really great. As you said, we just opened the world of solutions. People are coming in, um, and it's the last day, but that doesn't mean that there is stuff to learn, stuff to explore, and so on. And I see Rob behind me, who is actually racing a car and actually bumping into something. So let's just go and explore what Rob is doing. I think it has something to do with our McLaren uh, partnership, but let's just ask him what he's up to. Rob? 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 Rob, what's this about? 
cars uh, on a track with cameras and um, no, it's about a McLaren racing partnership. They've got some very interesting cars here using uh, just a combination of not only just remote control racing, it is fun, but the augmented reality part of it just takes it to a whole new level. When you look down through the controller, here, let me show you. When I look back, through yeah. the controller here, I can drive, let's see, let me back up. Where'd my car go? Oh, he's over there. Up, back up, and then I go forward. But see, it's a whole different view here, and I can see where to get points. But it's actually quite fascinating when you're down here, and here it comes by us. Oh, but I get... <laughs> I'm not that great at it, but I'm getting better until I was interrupted. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. See, so I don't know. I think this is really just a fun thing. I think my takeaway from this is that I, I want this at home. I don't know how much that helps Cisco, but it is quite fun. I think you're here for the conference. So if at you're good, I'm going to... If you're good, I'm going to finish. Yeah, sure, you do whatever you want. I just know that I'm not going to step into a car with you. Um, if you want to have the opportunity to win one of those, you can come here um, at the Circuit Challenge in the hub, and they have an then you will have an opportunity to basically um, win one. I'm just going to keep walking a little bit while our cameraman is still following Rob. Um, but there is just so much more to explore, I think. As I said, it, it's the last day, but there is, there is much to learn. There is so much going on still. Uh, and I think our friends of DevNet actually have loads of uh, hands-on labs. They have inspiring talks. They have thought leadership sessions as well. Um, so I see people like <laughs> running away from me. Uh, but basically, there is so much going on. There is also the network automation labs at DevNet, um, who are in partner, or which is in partnership with Red Hat. So we can have a look here. And then what else have we got? We have people, we have customer success stories. I know that's one of Nish's favorites and it's always a packed theater. Uh, we have Cisco Insider behind us still. Um, be sure to visit that wall. Of course, there's food. Um, and I have my buddy here. Let's ask him what he's most excited about. What are you most excited about? Yeah, I agree. And oh, he wants a selfie as well. So let's take a selfie. You know, you can't come to Cisco Life without a selfie. And I'll post it on our social media channels using hashtag Cisco Life EMEA. And with that, we're going to go back. Over oh, let's have a look. Yeah, just before we go back, there is a car here. And I think it's Rob. You know, it's just too much fun. So I'll just stop the fun. Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh, anyway, let's go back to the studio right now. Oh, nobody stops the fun like you do, Cedric. That's what I always say. Uh, bravo. Thank you, Rob, for showing us your, uh, your driving skills. Now I know next time I come to Dallas, I'm not getting in a car with you. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a moment to talk about the human-to-human -human connection because that is such a huge part of what it is that really Cisco is all about at our core. We talk technology constantly, and we're so darn good at it that it's easy to do, and it's wonderful to have conversations around AI, Gen AI capabilities and so forth while we're here at the show, but ultimately this is a people first experience. Everybody who's here is here to have a great time with one another, to create social setups, to create connections, to find those points of intersection where we can create and innovate together. Cedric had an opportunity to walk around earlier here in the show and find a few new friends and ask what their experiences have been like. Let's check that out. I don't like having to pick just one tech trend because I'd say in all for me it's AI but specifically it's around large language models and the brainstorming and the different things that it's opened up for my workflows. But I'm curious, what has it done for you? Let's find out. What do you think is worth paying attention to? I like, oh, I like the IoT dashboards and the environment sensors, getting people back to the office. No more of this staying at home trying to, <laughs> trying to pretend you can really work there, right? We want to see people in and it's uh, encouraging people that in a nice place to work is important. Rex, right, we need to build networks at those offices where the people are. Yeah, come and make connections. Private 5G. Private 5G, why is that? A good possibility and a new chance, for, especially for automotive companies where we are dealing with. So uh, smart manufacturing and all these stuff, topics, so it's quite interesting and the, the market is progressing well. I think everyone is really interested in smart buildings and, and it gives you a really good idea of like all of the technology that Cisco are using for smart buildings. I think AI to make networking even easier. 